The final method I want to show you is the reduce method. That's an interesting one too. This again takes a function as an argument. And now this function takes two arguments, the value as well, but before that, the total. And before I explain what this means, I'll quickly show what's the output of this method here. So I'll get rid of new array here. And here I will return something. I will return total plus value. Now for this to work correctly, I'll also get rid of all of this code so that I'm only working with numbers here for this example. If I now hit run, do you have an idea what might be the result of this? I get 10 and then you see the original array wasn't changed. So why do I get 10? Reduce reduces an array to a single value. And with the function we pass here, we specify the logic by which this array should be reduced. So here, for example, by adding all the values up, because four plus three plus two plus one is 10. So this will automatically pass in the current total result. This is a recursive function. So it's called over and over again until it is done. And at the beginning for the first element, total is of course zero, value will be one. It then adds zero plus one. And in the next step, total is one because zero plus one, we're returning the new total here and the new value is two. So now it adds one plus two and it returns three as the new total and so on. And I can show this by printing total or let's say I print a little text here, total, which should be my total. I can of course use addition here as you learned and then value just to have a nice log here to see what's going on. If I now hit run, you see the total is one, the value is two because it kind of skips the first step where the total is zero. It right away starts with the first element and uh, well infers that the total has to be one, the, the first element in this case. Then it gets to the two. So to this element here, adds it to the total, we get a total of three. It gets to the next element. It gets a total of six before it gets to the last element, total of four, and then we're done. It has no more elements and therefore it returns this overall sum 10. So this is what reduce does. It helps you to shrink down an array to a single element or a single value. And you define how this should happen, how you want this array to be transformed into a single value, how you want to reduce it to a number in this case.